Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and it's time for a little bit more in the world of Xenonauts. That's right, some hot alien on Xenonaut action, or Xenonaut on alien action. I don't know, however you want to look at it, it's going to happen. We're going to make it work. Um, there's stuff going on, and then we have to deal with, and unfortunately we don't have any great way of dealing with it. Our Air Force on the Bumptonaut side of things doesn't exist. Our Air Force on the Bumpington DC side of things is completely obliterated, annihilated, and can't do anything. We don't need to use our Air Force on the the base side of things because it's already done its job, but we do need to send something there to deal with things. So we are going to do that now. Hopefully the rookies are going to be okay. I want to do a couple things before we jump on that though. I would like to make sure that the bump drop is actually sectioned off correctly and as I thought we do not have the people in the right spots. So you can move down here, you move here and hopefully this mission goes well. I'm not entirely sure it will but we'll give it a shot. We will give it a shot. Um, so we're gonna launch the bump drop at them. There we go. Go! And then when the bump, bump pod excuse me, when the bump pod lands and makes its way home. We should be able to go to the dropship and fix this configuration that's been driving me crazy for a while now. It's not that far off, but it's slightly off, enough to bother me. So we're gonna fix it, and there we have it. All right, well, I did some searching today on, well, see where I stand. I like to see where I stack up since I made it to the number one in the searches. I was pretty excited and happy by that, so I figured I would check up occasionally and see where I stood. And yeah, I see some some depressing news on the uh, for the forefront here. There's a there's a guy that's uh, probably going to shoot past me here really soon, simply because he decided to break the code of conduct and the rules of engagement. So it always depresses me when people get ahead by hook or crook. But I suppose you do what you have to do. It's a cruel, cruel world out there, and you take whatever advantage you have to. So that is unfortunate, but. All that the same, I'm super happy that I managed to get all of you guys watching me and joining me. I've had a lot of really great interactions with you folks, and I, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Just a little disappointed, I suppose. There's no way that, you know, being legitimate, you're going to stay on top for long. So, yeah, it is what it is. But hopefully people still check me out, and things continue to go well either way. I'm, like I said, I'm super excited that... I, all you people have joined me and that things are going as well as they are. So hopefully some different and new and exciting stuff happens soon. I know the technology has kind of slowed down a bit and with it the growth of the Xenonauts. Right now we're kind of playing retro Xenonauts as far as we are in the, uh, the LP simply because we're going backward in research and technology with this particular squad of folks. So that is something to keep in mind. And we'll see. Uh, my strategies are going to have to be slightly better than they are normally because my people can't just absorb bullets like they usually do. And we have to be careful because we have Splattercat on the team as well. And we know his propensity to blow up vans and anyone in the general region, including himself. So if that happens again, well, you guys can all laugh hysterically. I will probably be being... Probably be being... Wow. I will probably be crying to myself, being a big baby. Or be being... Be being a crybaby, maybe? Uh, we can kind of combine it all into one ginormous phrase, and it'll, it'll work. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so let's take a knee with Halaback at you. We will go over here with Lieutenant Durzo Blint. And we're going to hide behind this and hope that nobody pops around that corner and murders my face. It has happened before. I am not a fan. Going to take a knee. You don't get to take a knee. You got Varnus the Raven. You must man up and do things without knees. And I just heard a website load. What is going on? Sorry, guys. I guess something's happening in the background. Maybe it's time I do a virus scan again. Who knows? Who knows? Either way, we're going to continue on. There's bullets flying. Cops are dying. It's not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Well, I guess it's plasma that technically is flying, but still. It is what it is. We're going to continue onward and hope that we actually manage to accomplish something here. And by accomplish, I mean not get all of our Xenonauts killed. I think I'm stuttering today. I don't know what's going on. I just ate uh, something from a restaurant called Pita Pit. It was obviously a pita, which is pr 
pretty darn sweet. It was really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. But I find that anytime I eat mayo on anything, it bothers my throat. Maybe I'm mildly allergic to mayo. I don't know. But it bothers my throat. Usually I end up coughing slightly for like an hour or two, something like that. Eh, maybe a little less. But there's definitely some coughing and some like congestion that builds up after I eat mayo. So I, I'm really thinking that I probably have some mild allergy to it. But I love mayonnaise. It is an amazing, amazing, delicious... I mean, like, if people go, are you a fan of delicious flavor? To me, that means you have mayo on something. But not everything. Not every, Like, I wouldn't want mayo on ice cream or... You know, but sandwiches, definitely. You always have to have mayo on a sandwich. Yeah, mustard's a substitute, and sometimes it's okay, but... I'm a mayo guy. I, mustard just doesn't quite do it for me. It's, it's okay, and it'll do in a pinch, but... I suppose there's certain sandwiches that... The mustard's okay on, but still. Give me mayo. Or give me death. Or just mayo. Don't kill me, please. I'm scared. They don't want to die. I don't want to die. I want to live. Alright, Durzo Blint, get into position. Next turn, we hopefully get to take a shot at that guy, and we live long enough to do so. I'm going to peek inside the room with Yad Varnus, because it's basically all we can do. We have no TUs to do anything else. This thing seems relatively clear, so we're going to go back over here. And I'm going to close the door, because door closing sometimes is safer than not door closing, I guess? Alright, well, we're going to stand here like a sore thumb, it's fine. Just going to stick out and be like, what? I don't think there's any aliens in this building. I'm not sure about past it. Um, I think I'm going to go this way. Over to this door. With Nerd Fury and see if I can do something with her. And bam. Bam. I guess we can move him a little further in. There might be somebody upstairs. I mean, it has happened before. It's not often. Oh, last time I played and I went upstairs, it was in a solo game. I actually couldn't get back down from upstairs, which was really strange. I don't know if it was just a one-time bug or if they broke the different levels. So as you can see, you can see the top of your ship, or the bottom of the ship, the slightly higher up, and then the top of the ship, you can see at the top of the roofs and everything else, or roofs, I'm sorry, it is actually roofs. I knew a roofer, and he told me that it is not roofs, it is roofs. Oh, that was unpleasant. That could have been unpleasant, but it wasn't as bad as I was anticipating. Oh gosh, I was totally wrong. Where are all these aliens coming from? Okay, so... We have Splatter Cat with two hit points. And we have a guy right in front of him with... Oh gosh, this is not going to end well. Oh my gosh, it worked! Holy cow! Oh, Splattercat, you crazy fool. Okay, well, the aliens did a really good job of just barely being out of sight and being able to close with us and murder our face, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Just saying. That was an impressive feat, you have to admit. Pretty impressive. Alright, so we are back on par with him. This guy not enjoying life at all. Good old Three Cream Willy. Absorbed a few shots to the face. Kind of split his dome some. Oh no, he is actually out of TUs. That's not good. That's actually really not good. Oh no. Oh, I suppose he can move. That's not that bad. Have him take a knee. We're going to maybe cover this side. Oh, it's hollow back at you. Hmm. Might be a bad idea. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if it's good, bad, or a different idea. And nope. Oh, we were kneeling. Awkward. All right, Nerd Fury's gonna go in here. There's a suppressed doctor. How much do I need to grenade? Forty. I only need. Bam! In your face. What? I can actually open the door and move, can't I? Yeah, I can. Ish. Well, we're going to take a massively huge risk right now. That is not well thought out or well conceived at all. 
I suppressed him. I'm a hero. And we only got one shot at this. And it's enough. Never do that. That was a terrible idea. Very, very, very bad idea. But it worked. So, remember when I said I had to have improved strategies? I don't. I don't. It, it was It was all... You know, it's great in, in theory and in, uh, you know, idea-wise, it's fantastic, but practicality and reality, they don't exist. I don't have better ideas. I do not have better strategies. Like, I imagine that this guy's going to run out here, cap this person in the back, and it's going to be over. But, let's see. Oh, no. Turn the corner and put himself into a bad spot. So, for once, the aliens have fallen into my trap. A trap that I placed, that I implemented, that is going to actually work for me. I'm... Super happy about that. And it sounds like aliens are moving around in their ship. There were some civilians running around up top. Above. Oh, three cream willy. Why would you panic now? You know the probability of my guy landing two shots right now? It's pretty darn low. Oh, he only had to land one. I went with the higher percentage. If that didn't work, we were in a lot of trouble. Three cream was going down 100% for certain. But that's not a problem. It actually worked. So we're going to go around wide and see what's back here. Nothing. That's fantastic. And everybody is somewhat alive at this point. Only two people are hurt. Which could have been far worse than that. And yeah. I'm pretty happy with how everything is panning out right now. Not, not super extremely happy, but pretty happy. Alright, well, we're going to kind of continue to clear, I think. It's going to be the best thing we can do at this point. Take a knee. Can I get a sniper in behind? Actually, no, I'm not going to get the sniper in behind. I'm going to get the heavy in behind. Because the heavy is going to be able to do some work. The sniper will just move over here. We still have this area to clear out. There's not much left, but there is some that needs to be done. So, we shall do it. We're going to move... Splattercat back in. He actually landed a shot through two doorways and killed an alien. Turned him to hamburger. Look at that. Goose plot. Bam. Alright, so let's end our turn. And what is going to happen next? More alien movement on the ship. Probably more civilians running around upstairs. That's fine. Alright, we're going to run over and throw a heal up on Three Cream Willy eventually. There we go. Cream is now fully healed and ready to go. We're gonna go around this corner. Nope, nope, stop it. I hate that so much. I get so impatient, I click. I guess I move my mouse just slightly. It is a really high, highly sensitive mouse. It's a, it's a high-end precision gaming mouse. So, yeah, sometimes when I'm a little more, a little bit more relaxed. Oh my gosh, speaking is so complicated, guys. You just don't know. Anytime I'm a little more lax, I generally misclick way more than I normally do. And I generally relax and just kind of enjoy myself when I'm playing Xenonauts. So that may account for some of the misclicks. I don't think it's all of them, though. I think part of it is I'm just terrible at clicking things. So that is a possibility as well. Nerd Fury seems to have done a pretty decent job of clearing things out. We'll see. I'm not going to move up anymore with her. And our turn, I missed number two. I don't know. Oh, he's by the shield guy I had sitting there. Hmm. Aliens are moving around. Guys outside upstairs. Interesting choice, but okay. Your Fury's gonna go here. Take. She couldn't step one further. Okay. All right. So we're all clear on this side. We're gonna return back to the rest of our people. We're going to breach the door. There is no aliens in here. And we're going to go out this way. So Mutana just did a lot of extra running around with gaining nothing for it. Which is, it's okay. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Alright, we're going to come down this way with our sniper. And I think we're going to start setting up with our shield UI. Put him right up here. And we'll get this guy behind. All right, let's see. Put you there as well. We'll put you over here. How's that? All right, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. 
this is another shield guy I'm running around searching with. Okay. No big deal. No biggie. Come on. Come on. Let's take a peek. Nothing. And... Nothing. And... Nothing. Alright. Well, you get to return to the rest of the knots of Xeno. Going to come over here. Going to come over here, I suppose. And you need to get into, I guess, this position. Can you get somewhere, anywhere? There we go. Alright, next turn we breach, hopefully. Even though we're only with one shield unit, we'll see if it's actually a viable option. We might just close the door right after we open it. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, that's pretty nasty. So what I'm going to attempt, which is probably not a great idea, I'm going to try to flash in there. Just hoping to get some suppression. No such luck. Now I'm going to attempt to gas in there. And hopefully... Alright, we knocked out two. So that was actually pretty darn good. So at this point I'm just going to close the door. Simply because I can. I might as well. There's no harm done there. Alright, we'll get our shieldy guy to come down and join. Get a little green golem. We'll end our turn and... We're waiting, we're waiting. Come on, aliens. Do your alien stuff. Let's do this. Let's get this over with. Alright, let's reopen the door. He has moved closer. I am going to shoot him in the face and miss twice. He's going to return fire. I like that. Then I'm going to move here-ish. I have Nerd Fury take a couple shots. How do you manage to shoot that far off of target? Wow. So that happened. Sorry, I'm a little flustered. Not sure how she shot him. That's kind of ridiculous. But whatever. Whatever. 47% chance. Shot that to pieces. Let's step forward. And finally. And he missed all but two. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. So we got three cream willy up into the place. I think I can go there without hitting gas. Alright. And green golem. We're going to send you in too, buddy. You're going to be the follow through guy. Or the front line guy, I suppose. The follow throughs are going to come after the fact. And we're going to sit here and wait just a little bit. And. Should be able to breach the back. Oh, Lavender Gooms is actually bleeding. Really? Really, dude? You're bleeding. Well, I suppose you did get shot in the butt, so... Yeah. Bleeding. I tell you, man. My, my, my Xenonauts. Ugh. The rookie squad got... Really? I didn't know you could fit your... Your health kit in the uh, belt slot item. That's interesting. Huh. Alright, whatever. Gonna move forward. No, no, oh no, don't gosh. I forgot they can't go over things. They have to go like through. That's fine. Alright, and who's the final one? This guy. And the door can open. We can move into position with all three of our folks and we are ready for breaching tactics in this next little bit here we really really hope it all works out you know, Advarnus has taken up the rear ready to do mass quantities of damage if need be which I, I suppose probably should have Yard, Yard Varnus in like the second position because no TU's it's generally bad Gonna man up and try to murder this guy in the face. Success, alright. And boom! And victory! Good, no one died. Even Splattercat didn't die, wounded for 19 days. 
as is the norm, but this time it wasn't his own self-infliction that got him nearly dead. We only lost one of the surviving local forces, or well, I suppose only one of the local forces. We had one that still survived. Um, that's 60,000 monies we just gathered up. We got two TUs, a decent stack gain all the way across the board as well. So, we'll take it. We will take it, and... I'm not sure why he got a bravery... Oh, oh, sorry, that's, uh... I misread that. That's for killing the five ETs. Lieutenant Durzo Blint is doing work, ladies and gentlemen. So, our rookie squad is slowly growing out of rookie status. We have sergeants across the board, except for Splattercat, of course. We have several lieutenants, and I guess we're going to get some captains and other stuff eventually here. So, looking forward to that. Looking forward to it. Alright, we're going to end that, and then we're going to... Alright, now we're... Hmm. I really wish I could do more than I'm doing. I have a decent amount of money, too, so what I think I'm going to do is add some living quarters to this one. I am going to... I think I might add a workshop as well. Yeah, I'm going to add a living quarters a workshop, because I'm going to build some planes here eventually. Have this panned out a little bit further. A lot of people are telling me that I'm going to need to use vehicles, and I'm very hesitant and holding off on it very, very heartily. I still don't want to do it, but I think I'm going to end up having to do it eventually. But, for now, that's still not something I need to necessarily do. So I'm going to try to hold it off. Um, I do need a storeroom, so I'm going to throw that there, and I want to get another radar array up over here. And we'll just double check. We have three, and we should have three. We only have two. And I'm going to get a third one on ours. No, I'm not. That's way too much money. Sorry. I must have underestimated something. How much is the the workshop? That must have been the thing that was expensive. That's 100000 Add another radar array. Storerooms, 50000 Living quarters expensive, too? Well, I guess between the several things that I did. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Alright, so we're gonna just gonna have to sit and wait it out, unfortunately. There's not much we can do at this point, which makes me sad because I really wanted to go after these things, but our Air Force, as I said, is in shambles right now, and that's not okay. Alright, so the drop ship thing is now available. It is alive and well and ready to go. I'm wondering whether or not I should decommission something. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Um, okay, so you guys can pause and read that. I'm sorry, I'm still considering and thinking. Uh, this can t this will carry up to, to 10 as opposed to 8. Ugh. We're going to go back to the research screen. We have done pretty bad on controlling our research lately, so I apologize for that. I've been a little addle-brained. I'm a little distracted. I will apologize. I am going to finally suck it up and do the alien officer interrogation and get that done and out of the way. Now, we need to take a look at our base construction here. We have all this. How are our ships coming along? I think I'm going to send Sean and Peanut Butter away. In fact, I'm sure that I'm going to do that. I'm going to send them away right now, in fact. Peanut Butter, you have done well. It's time that you... Oh, we can't relocate you yet. Really? You can only really relocate fully healthy things, huh? Alright, well, we're going to relocate you over to Bumptanat. Relocate. And... Whenever the next vehicle or air vessel, craft, whatever, <laughs> is up and running, we will uh, we'll see. So the wolf battle armor is still being constructed. We have one more additional wolf battle armor up. So we're going to send that over to the rookie squad. I might wait until that's done. Then I'm going to go with the aircraft. And as much as I'd like to get an additional dropship, I want to see how much it's going to cost. 200000 Yeah, I thought it was going to be expensive. 300000 for that. Wow. I'm going to bring out another Foxtrot then. It's going to be a uh, interesting deal. So we're going to go with that. And we are tapping out our money just a bit, guys. So this is why I'm so hesitant to do things. All right, well, good. Now we have the new soldiers there. So we're going to go there and take a look at them. And I'm going to make some noise. There we go. Make some noise. It's all well and good, and we are going to add two more people to our to our deal here. So let's do that. 
We're not going to put them into the thing, but we're going to have them available. So we need to go to this screen, in fact. We're going to name them, basically. It's Splattercat that's injured again, right? Let me just double check. He's wounded for two more days. Well, it should be more than two days before we need him again. So we're going to go to the unassigned. And let's see, we have... Huh. Well, let's see, we have Rupert King that we need to throw in. So we're going to do, wow, are they all female? They are all female. Well, this is interesting. I have no male uh, officers. Guess what? Some of you guys are, might be um, crossing the, the gender field here, so I apologize for that in advance, but <laughs> it is what it is. So you guys... <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I'll, I'll name them after you guys. How's that? R Ruperta. Eh? Eh? Queen. Close enough. I'm sorry. That's what you get. <laughs> I can't control the sex of my people. And I, I guess this is Josie? So that kind of could work. There we go. And then we have the final one. And finally, prep to survive, which doesn't matter whether it's female, male, or a uh, female, male, or male, female. I, I got nothing. But prep to survive. There we go. We're going to call you that. That's going to be how we name you. And bam, there we go. You know what? We'll even throw your number in there, Josie or Jose. No, we'll go with Josie. All right, so there we go. So, fortunately, it couldn't be Rupert King. You had to be Ruperta, Ruperta Queen. Some names, guys. Some names. But there we go. We have added the additional people that wanted to be added into the squad. We even have we even have ourselves a, a British person, which is fantastic. Look at that. British. I found it. I did it. I am a hero. All of you should... No, I'm kidding. All right. So, that is done. I'm scratching my head here a little bit because I don't know what to do next. We're kind of out of time, so to speak. Maybe we'll wait for Sean to land. There he goes. He has landed. I don't think we're going to be quite ready for the next wave of just horrible awfulness, but maybe we will. Maybe we will. That's almost repaired enough to probably ship out. Um, our money is staggeringly, staggeringly, staggeringly. Eh, it's, it's steadily going lower and lower. Pretty soon we'll be pretty close to broke, and surprise, I have weird alarm things sounding near me. My wife really should turn off her computer sometimes, I, I dare say. Well, I dare say. We're going to go to base. We're going to ship this stuff off as well. The wolf armor is going to go visit our friends over in the other place. We're going to go to the base with these guys. And that is where it's going to be shipped. Our jackal armor is all done. Oh, no, no. He's got one quantity there. That's fine. We'll transfer that over. And in theory, any minute now... There we go. So we should be able to make these guys a little hardier over here. Oh, look. My screen decided to drop that stuff up top. Alright, we should be able to make these guys a bit hardier. And unfortunately, since you guys already have shields, I'm not going to throw it on the shieldy folk just yet. You should be back in our, our squad here, buddy. So let's get you back in. Splattercat, you have to be part of the squad, man. I'm sorry. When we get the 10 people, we'll add additional people in. It's fine. It is fine. Okay. Now we're going to go here and change up a few things. So this last little bit of the episode is not going to be the most exciting, guys. And I apologize for that. But it's something that has to be done, unfortunately. It's just one of those things that you just have to do. So we're going to go with... I think we're going to throw some jackal armor on him we'll let him carry around a little bit of extra weight lowers his to use no no big deal yad varnas can handle it i know it um who's got really somebody's got really low health as a shield guy i thought maybe i'm wrong um who's got really low health she's not hurt and she's only got 48 health so she definitely needs armor so we're gonna Throw the wolf armor up on Nerd Fury, and that leaves us with one additional jackal armor. We're going to drop one of these. Our gas grenade. 
probably our explosive grenade. My goodness, she doesn't have much strength. Well, she's going to lug that around. She's going to have to deal with it. Alright, so that's fine. That's fine. Our snipers have nothing. Our rifleman is set now. Our rocketeer needs to be outfitted as a rocketeer. And bam, there he goes. Throw the jackal armor back up on him. He can carry a little bit of extra weight. It's not the end of the world. And just like that, I think our rookie squad is mostly outfitted. I think our heavy weapons guy... No, even he's got it. So the only people who have no armor right now are... 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 are, are, are I'm sorry. <coughs> are our... <laughs> snipers. So that's it. Everybody else is outfitted with some type of armor. Our rookie squad's not looking too bad in that regard. However, weapon-wise, they're not looking super great. So I'm going to kind of advance time until something happens. Ooh, the buzzer jumpsuit is there. And you guys can definitely check that out. Oh, there you go. So, bam. Let's take a look. Well, I'd like to build a two of those for my additional uh, snipers. But right now, I don't think that's that big of an issue, considering how little bit of money we have. We're getting about halfway through the month. Month. We're getting about halfway through the month, guys. I'm sorry, I'm just all over the place here. I'm stuttering and sputtering and stumbling and spouting out words and random phrases and all sorts of stuff. I don't know what's going on. It's a mayo. It's clogging my arteries. But we're about halfway through the month, <laughs> and it's fine. It's more than fine. We're going to hopefully have anything happen. Okay, well that's something. And a UFO! Let's center on it and see where it is. Alright. Is there any way we can possibly, conceivably fight that? Oh, we can't. Everything's actually fully repaired. In fact, even from the base, we can send somebody over to attack it, which I think is kind of funny. Alright, so chances are what I'm going to do is shoot that thing down in the next episode, and then send another vessel over to Bumptanot, and then I will get my production going with different ships. Hopefully we make a decent chunk of money to keep ourselves afloat and moving. And we need to get started on this as well. So let's do that now. And with that guys, I'm going to break off the episode. I know it was a little more muddled, oops, excuse me, a little more muddled, a little more stumbled around, not making as much sense, a little bit crazier, a little a little looser though I feel because you know I'm just relaxing, I'm kicking back, I'm enjoying where I'm at. I think I said I'm in enjoying. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Stuttering today. It's a thing, apparently. But I think I might even give you guys a double dose today. I think it will be a double dose of Xenonauts today, and then tomorrow you guys should see some Blackguards. Gonna maybe try to finish it in the next two days. So maybe it's gonna be Blackguards getting finished up um, tomorrow, which is Sunday, as well as on Monday if I need to go that far, and then I'll start my new series on Tuesday, or one of the new series on Tuesday. So, either way guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed, forgive my ramblings, forgive the low action at the end of this episode, but some movement happened, things got around, stuff is going on, it's all well and good, it's fine, there's going to be a lot of editing in this one to try to at least make me sound somewhat normal, somewhat civilized, like I, maybe I graduated high school or anything, I mean, come on. I did graduate high school, by the way, just saying.